All righty, good morning. Happy Monday. Happy day after Easter Sunday. Hopefully you guys are off to a good start, even though we are all off to a rainy, cold, kind of dreary start as we give you a live look there in Blacksburg at 37 degrees. That is a miserable rain, especially when you factor in the wind. Roanoke at 40, Martinsville at 41, breezy and rainy to start out our Monday morning. But again, despite that, hopefully you guys are off to a good start this Monday morning. We'll go ahead and show you the radar, and it is uh, lit up like an Easter egg for sure, as you've got some of those pinks, especially above the 2,500 foot level. Afton Mountain, maybe Peaks of Otter, uh, parts of uh, Bath and Highland counties this is where we could be seeing a little bit of a wintry mix so far this morning. So uh, do be mindful of that if you're in these areas. I'm also pulling up our live stream here so I can keep an eye on any comments should they come up and if there's any questions that need to be answered. Douglas, good morning to you in Roanoke where it's currently raining and uh, been raining a little heavily at times here at the TV station. Uh, but there you see it's pretty much this widespread slug of moisture, but it's only going to be cold enough for wintry weather well above the surface in some of the higher elevations, all thanks to the wedge. So you see that arrow coming in out of the northeast that reinforces the cold air while at the same time a storm system rises up from the south. So keeping things unseasonably cold throughout the day today. I mean, we're looking at high temperatures 20 25 degrees below average for this time of year. So we're wet at times with a patchy wintry mix, and that's especially the case for counties shaded in the purple. This is Western Greenbrier, Western Pocahontas, or uh, actually all of Pocahontas now, Western Highland, Western Nelson, and Bath County. So again, especially above the 2,500 foot level and north of I-64 is where we see the chance for a mix of snow, sleet, and some freezing rain. Most of us just looking at plain old cold rain throughout the morning. Future tracker showing that here we are around 7 o'clock right now. And there's that widespread slug of moisture moving in. I do think it's moving the wintry weather a little bit too far to the south. I think it's being a little aggressive on that. Uh, but you do see again areas north of Interstate 64 and some of those higher ridge tops of Nelson, Amherst, maybe even Bedford counties like Sharp Top or the Peaks of Otter. Uh, Bent Mountain in Roanoke County could see a brief period of wintry weather late this morning into the middle of the day as well. But really, your most widespread rain is between a out now and 1 p.m. By 1 p.m., the heaviest rain along into the east of US 29, whereas areas like Highland County and Pocahontas County still dealing with a mix of wintry weather. Heading into the rest of the afternoon, showers will still be around, but they're going to be a little more scattered. We start to pass off the energy from this storm system off to the coast. And so as that energy transfer happens, you start to see rain becoming less widespread and more scattered. Natalie, by the way, good morning to you. Just saw you comment there uh, on our live stream. So thank you very much for doing so this evening. Erica, good morning in Collinsville this evening, mostly looking dry as we start to see the breeze coming in out of the west and northwest, but colder air still above the surface. So we'll still get some scattered bursts of snow tomorrow, especially on the west facing slopes. Doris, good morning to you and happy Monday. As far as how much rain we expect, for the most part, it's looking to be on the order of about a half an inch to an inch and a half. So not going to be a flooding concern, but could have some ponding and uh, collecting water on the roadways. So do be careful. Uh, with that, especially as we now have more folks traveling than we did maybe over the course of the weekend. So just keep that in mind as you have uh, the morning commute being the wettest of the day. I do think by the evening commute, things will mostly be dry. Cynthia, good morning. Chilly morning in Blacksburg. You're currently sitting in the 30s with rain moving in. Donna in Millborough, good morning. May have a brief wintry mix if you haven't seen that already, uh, but especially toward Warm Springs Mountain is where we have uh, the best chance of a wintry mix in Bath County. These are your high temperatures today. That's about it. Temperatures only in the 40s. Your average high again is in the 60s in the mountains and in the lower 70s elsewhere. So we're a good 20 to 25 degrees below average for this afternoon. Just very cool. Almost more of a January feel out there. Then by tonight, we're breezy and cold. Temperatures for most of the area 35 to 40 degrees. Any freezing temperatures will be very 
uh, spotty. In fact, uh, look at that. Nikki saying it's sleeting in Montvale. Good morning to you and uh, stay stay warm out there. Feels crazy to say that after the past few days and how beautiful they were. But overnight we drop down into the 30s. Pat, good morning to you. But I don't think we see a ton of frost tomorrow. Reason being is the wind and it will be a little breezy at times overnight. But then as we head into tomorrow behind this storm system, the wind really picks up. So you see that out of the west and northwest coming in at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. That's your sustained wind speeds. But then by the afternoon, your gusts of 30 to perhaps as strong as 40 miles per hour uh, throughout the day on Tuesday. So again, do be mindful of that as we go beyond this storm system and we turn drier heading into tomorrow. Wednesday morning, we see the chance for frost and freezing temperatures, but watch what happens later in the week. All right, so we've got this front that is just to the north of the area by Friday. But what it does is it continues to move to the north thanks to the southwest wind. It's going to force that front north of here, meaning we stay dry through the weekend, but we're also going to be unseasonably warm. So we go from a wintry start to the week to almost shades of late spring, early summer by the weekend. Climate Prediction Center showing that in their six to 10 day outlook, uh, which shows a basically an 80% chance of above average temperatures. So that's a, a pretty high likelihood for you as we head into the weekend. So all that is to say, if you're not a fan of what's going on right now, the 30s, the 40s, the rain and patches of wintry mix, just wait until the weekend and some of us will be complaining about how warm it's going to be. Donna, good morning. Uh, I think that was Donna who just recently commented. Oh my goodness, I'm losing my place here. No, it was Sharon. Sharon, good morning to you and happy Monday. So for today, high temperatures in the 40s. Again, very much a January-like feel to the air on this April the 18th. Tomorrow we start in the 30s. We make our way back into the 50s. We start with patches of frost and freezing temperatures Wednesday morning, and then we're back in the 60s by the afternoon. Thursday, a stray shower during the morning, otherwise 65 to 70 by the afternoon. That's pretty much what you expect this time of year. Much warmer, though, heading into the weekend. Friday, we're in the middle topper 70s. This weekend, some of us touching the 80s during the afternoon. So I will say, even if you're not a fan of this cold, rainy morning, pollen levels are going to be much lower today than the past few days. So there is some good that comes with this. Also, some parts of the area have been needing some rain. So uh, it's not all bad, even though it is kind of a, a yucky and gloomy looking day out there. But there you do see in the purples, especially along the spine of the Blue Ridge. We had a report there in Montvale of some sleet uh, making its way that far south. So something we continue to see in parts of Allegheny, Botetot, Rockbridge, Augusta, Amherst, Nelson counties, and also Bath and Highland County. So that's the area that's going to see the, the bulk of this. Do we see any more cold air moving any in any more this month? I do think we see another cold snap or two, uh, especially as we get uh, probably into the later part of next week and toward the end of the month. I do think you see another cold snap. Uh, whether or not that's enough for frost or freeze, uh, it's a little too soon to, to tell for sure right now. Uh, but it does look like the weather will turn a little cooler as we head toward the end of the month. So uh, it's cold right now. We'll get much warmer as we head into these, this weekend, but then probably as we head into next weekend. So the weekend of the 29th, the 30th, and May the 1st, that's when things may actually start to turn a little bit cooler once again. So that's pretty common this time of year. You see those temperature swings back and forth. It's a little hard to dress and plan for, but that's April in Southwest Virginia. So do make sure you have the umbrella today. The raincoat is going to be quite cold and there will be some spotty uh, wintry mix as you're seeing here along some of the spine of the Blue Ridge and areas north of I-64. 744 now on this Monday morning. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Hopefully you had a nice holiday weekend as well. We've got a live update coming up for you in just about 10 minutes on 10 news. And then again, every half hour throughout the today's show. So that'll be at 757, 826, 857, and then somewhere around 930 and 1030 in the morning as well. I'll be back with a full look at your forecast in our hour long edition of 10 news at noon. We'll see you then as well. But in the meantime, stay dry, stay warm, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.